All right, Coach, game one, a 2-0 win over Texas A&M International. Just speak on that win and what you see coming together from your team. Uh, that, that game is a little bit different just because of the style of play that that team has. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, implied fouls and just different things that are a little bit different. Um, but that game we knew that we needed to not be uh, that physical. We had to be really smart with our defending and not give up a lot of set pieces. And, uh, you know, at the end of the game, I think we were nine fouls. They had 12, something like that. So we did what we were supposed to do. Um, we get a couple of good chances. <clears throat> um, you know, nice to get a couple of goals for a win rather than just one. We got another shutout. So really pleased with that. Heading into game two, a tie game. Eagles defense was really heavy in that first half, but y'all attacked, or the Eagles scored four minutes later, y'all attacked and scored right back. Does that show you anything as a coach? Maybe their hunger to bounce back or just that attack would be you down? Yeah, I mean, maybe the thing is, is that, you know, they're afraid to go for it until they have to. So it's a young team. They're trying to listen to everything we have to, to give them. But sometimes with young players, they have a difficult time filtering what's most important rather than trying to do every single thing that you tell them. <clears throat> and so that's always a, a difficult thing for a young player. You know, they're trying to make you happy. And at the same time, they need to be able to embellish and read the situation and solve the problem. And uh, that was something that, you know, we've done a couple of times now where we haven't been able to go forward. We haven't had that optimism in the attack. And, uh, and then we get scored on. And then all of a sudden, you know, we have the freedom and we go forward and get goals. So uh, another thing for us to work on. Two games this week, St. Mary's up first, a team y'all know it year in and year out. What are a few things y'all are focusing on this week to keep the pressure on them? I mean, we'll be playing at their place. Fortunately for us, they've redone their field, so it should be a lot better than it has been. Um, you know, I I've watched them just a little bit. I think that they've got some really good attacking players. They're fairly direct, uh, kind of some things that we would like to be um, because we have some speed and some uh, players that we think will be able to score goals. Uh, but for right now, I think that number one is we've got to continue to work on defending and get, getting shutouts uh, and then moving from there, uh, you know, getting goals. So even as I'm saying that, I'm like, well, maybe that's why the girls aren't scoring because they're just concentrating on defending. But, um, you know, if we don't give up any goals, we have a chance to get a point, get a result, something. something. And uh, in soccer, goals are really kind of usually hard to come by. Uh, so, yeah, I think that defending will be important for us and I think continuing to work on improving our attack. And then heading into that second game at home with Eastern New Mexico, the goal is always to win, but what are you wanting to see from your team against the Greyhounds? Well, I think we've had a good mentality at home. I mean, we've gotten good results at home, so that part hopefully will be consistent and stay true moving forward. Uh, that is gonna be our senior day. We're doing it a little bit earlier this year, so that will be a little bit of uh, some added emotion. Whether that emotion goes the right way or the wrong way, we won't know until we get there. Uh, but hopefully, uh, with good crowd support, you know, good, we got a lot of uh, good fans and good things going on during our game. So hopefully that will help uh, get, us a, get us a win. I think that Eastern will be tough. I think that, you know, they, they got beat, um, you know, this last weekend against St. Edwards. I think the game before that, they lost as well. Uh, tough game. So they're going to be fighting for their lives, trying to get something to happen to push themselves up in the, in the conference standing. So, Hopefully we can overcome that and, and come out with a win. Coach, going back to that Texas A&M International game, um, you got the win in that one, and, and of course that, that was like one of the super physical, gritty back and forth games. Um, what's the message to to the girls when, whenever it, it, it seems like like the it's not just the opponent they're playing, but but, it, but it's also the fouls that, that are being called, and, and of course this is a young team. So what, what, what's the message to these ladies whenever um, they're running up against something like that? Typically when something happens like that, what we talk to them about is that's what the team is trying to do to equalize uh, the game. So maybe they're not quite as uh, athletic as we are, they're not quite as good technically, something like that. And so one of the things they can do is just, you know, the added diving and the fouls and things like that to kind of get you to lose focus of what's most important, which is, you know, how we move off the ball, how we attack, how we defend, etc. And so if you can get distracted with that kind of stuff, then, you know, sometimes you lose to an opponent you shouldn't. That happened to us last year against uh, UTPB. So we bring up that game. We talk about staying focused on what's most important for us. And if we do that, then we should be able to come out with a victory. Do you think that kind of mental toughness kind of carried into y'all's next matchup where you end up drawn? 
um, after being down, you go right back and score, and you end up, uh, you know, shutting the opponents out the rest of, uh, of that match. Do you, do you think that that the victory um, over Texas A&M International played in, into that fifth toughness in that game? I mean, perhaps always that's a possibility. I think the bigger issue was is we knew that set pieces and long throw-ins were going to be Oklahoma Christian's key to victory. And uh, you know, he said, "Listen, they're going to throw it in there, and they're going to foul, and they're going to do different things to try and get a goal on a set piece." And so we don't want to give up set pieces. Uh, you know, we gave up 11 shots. One of those shots was on goal, and that was their goal. Um, and that was from a set piece. We did a poor job defending. We let a girl get in behind us. Uh, goalkeeper makes a great save kicks out for a corner kick, and then, then we have the melee in front of the penalty area. And that's the part of the game that right now is just, I mean, it's just anything goes, it seems like, you know? You just put a ton of bodies in there, and you know, we watched in our game against Texas A&M International, our girl goes up, kind of leans over a player, doesn't even touch her, and goes to head the ball, and the referee blows a foul and, and blows, you know, blows a whistle. And there's clearly nothing there. Um, and so then you go into this other game, uh, the next game, Players are banging and holding and pushing and shoving and everything else, and now they're you know just pushing players out of the way and they get a goal. So um, that's just something that I think with youth that we just have to get used to. We have to understand how the games go. It's just like when we go up in the past, we've gone up two two zero, and all of a sudden the referee starts making a lot of calls against us. That's just sort of the way things go. Referees have a tendency to to have the uh, you know. Uh, I don't really know how to, uh, just like an aw shucks kind of thing, like, you know, all these poor little girls are getting beat 2-0, let's, let's throw them a bone, let's give them something and, you know, give them a foul, give them a penalty kick, give them something like that. So hopefully those are things, again, that the learning curve steepens as they get older uh, and we don't kind of make those same mistakes again. Thank you, Coach. Thank okay. you. All right, thanks.